Um, uh, I went live earlier and I was going to leave it up, but I was driving and my phone overheated, so the live didn't save. But I just want to get on here and say a few things. One, thank y'all again. I've said this already this morning. But, like, thank y'all so much for actually caring about my fucking cat. Like, it genuinely feels like I lost my child. And I'm trying to find my fucking child. Um. Oh, y'all are calling her Azulio, dude. Uh, um. been very exhausting but thank y'all so much for like caring because it's probably easy to look in and be like this stupid bitch cares like it's a fucking cat um but that's literally like my companion oh i'm gonna fucking cry um i haven't gotten any good updates this morning i had to drive to oc which is where i am and i'm about to drive back to la to like keep looking for her um And yeah, before I left, I like looked around the house. I left food out, even though an expert told me not to. Um, because I was just like, I know she's hungry because... Also, I keep calling her she because we say... She, I, I call her she because she like always felt like a girl to me. So I always just called her she. And I was calling her he in all the stories and everything because he is a boy cat. And like, if you find him, he will have balls. Like, don't be looking for a girl. It is a boy cat. Um, um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go and I don't, my, I'm so fucking like my brain is everywhere. I'm going to go home and make more flyers and kind of, um, <laughs> Dana, I'm going to go home and make, uh, a bunch of flyers and just leave them all around my neighborhood and like leave them on people's lawns and like tape them to every fucking pole I see. I left a lot of flyers around my block. I left like 10 just in my block. Um, and I put the reward for 300, but I'm starting to think like 300 isn't enough. Like, I don't know. I'm like going fucking crazy. I walked around my block like five times last night, like calling her name, shaking treats. Like, like I walked around my house a shit ton before I left this morning. She didn't eat the food that was left out. I don't think she came back to the house. Like I genuinely don't know if she knows how to get back to the house because she was only there for two days and she never was outside. I just took her inside and she had been inside. I'm trying to get go over everything to like update y'all. I'm going to like update. I'm literally at this point. Yeah. Like I'm giving away my fucking Chanel bag. If so, if someone finds my cat, I will literally put $300 in this Chanel bag I have and give it to you. Like that's how much I want this cat. That's how much I want people to help me look for this cat. Like I don't care about my stupid fucking bag. It's a piece of shit. I fucking hate it. It's anxiety ridden and I will give it away for this cat. Like I will give you fucking anything. I'll give you a fucking home pod. Like if you find this cat, give me the cat. Um, but I'm hoping today I'm going to go look through shelters. I'm going to go like looking for her. I'm going to make like a hundred more flyers and just fucking post them all around LA. I'm starting to like, I just hope she's like safe. And hopefully I, I have like a gut feeling someone found her and like took her in because she's like a cute fucking cat. Um, she's just super timid. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go to my old house and I didn't go yesterday because it's, it's like it's in downtown my old apartment is in like downtown and I was like dude there's no way she went back to downtown but I'm gonna go check there I'm gonna go check the apartment I found her at originally I'm gonna go fucking check everywhere I just want to like let y'all know before I start driving back to OC because it's an hour drive um trying to think what else and a lot of y'all were asking how did she get out I we just moved into this apartment we've been there for two days and we had painters over and I put her in the bathroom because I was like, I, I put her in the bathroom with her, like obviously her litter box and her food and water. And I like kind of locked her in the bathroom because I didn't want her out in the paint and like inhaling the smell of paint and, or like touching the paint or like getting super scared with the painters. Um, um but yeah, I didn't want her to get scared, and she had been in there from, like, 8 a.m. to, like, 1 p.m., 
so I felt really bad and I went to go take a shower and she was meowing a lot so I um no she didn't have a chip and I feel so stupid I feel so fucking stupid she didn't have a chip or a collar which is even yeah when I get her back I'm taking that bitch right to the fucking vet and she's gonna get chip right up her ass like I'm such a fucking idiot. I wish I had a collar or a chip on her. I just didn't think about it. I was like, she's an indoor cat and I live in an apartment and I always just thought it was okay and it's so fucking stupid. But basically, um, sorry, I'm so like out of, I'm literally thinking a million things, but the, the, painters went on break and when they left they didn't close the door to my fucking apartment and I went to the bathroom and she was meowing a lot and that's when I took that fucking picture of her she was in the bathroom with me while I was showering and she was like she seemed like in a good mood and like she wanted to get out of the bathroom really bad so obviously I fucking I let her out of the bathroom and I I didn't know the door was open I didn't think the front door was open and she was walking towards my room and I walked past her and I thought I thought she followed me in and went under the bed and she fucking didn't she was by the stairs that go right down to the front door and I think when maybe Christian or Drew or someone passed by it scared her to and instead of coming back up because she saw the people up here she went back down and ran out the front door and I don't even think she ran. I think she was just walking around and scurrying around and, like, looking around, being curious. Um, and then the painters came back, and I saw them out the window. And I was like, oh, the painters are back. Uh, where's Azul? Because I was going to put her back in the bathroom. And I was like, check under the bedroom because I think she's under my bed. And she wasn't there. And immediately I knew. I was like, oh, my God, she she's not in the apartment. So I, like, ran down. And the painters came up and the, a door didn't open when they came up. So I was like, these fuckers left the fucking door open when they left. And the door has not been closed. She is gone. So I ran out and I started crying and freaking out. And I'm like, dude, she's fucking gone. And then Christian's walking down the block and when he's coming back, he's like, Azul just ran into the na into the neighbor's backyard. And I went up to her and I was being like, I, I was just being too fucking frantic when I was trying to grab her. And I was just in a panic and just like my natural instinct kicked in to like fucking chase her down and her natural instinct came in to fucking run because her owner looks fucking psychotic and angry and is crying and looks fucking crazy running after her and basically she ended up running past me and drew jumping over this little wall that's around our house and like we didn't even see what direction she went in it's like the fucking worst feeling in the world um yes azul is a boy but and we always call her her. I'm sorry. That's so confusing. I'm going to start calling him him so it's not so confusing and nobody is looking for a girl cat. It's a boy cat. It's a him. Um, a Rolls Royce just parked next to me and she has AirPods in while she's driving, which is illegal. Um, but yeah, dude, I, and I'm like scared because I don't know if she's, or he's, But yeah, I'm going to go back to LA. I'm going to fucking speed race there. I I need to go to like FedEx and make flyers because we don't have internet at our house, which is the worst. We don't have anything, so I can't like print at our house right now. And I'm going to go make a bunch of flyers, print all of them out and go around LA. Um, again, I would love to stress that literally I will give you all the money in the world. If you find my cat, please give it to me. Um, I don't know why I'm saying that like any of y'all would keep my fucking cat. Um, but yeah, so that's that. I'm going to check my old house, check the apartment I found her at. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And for people who don't know, she is a white cat with, or he is, he, he is a white cat with an orange tail and an orange, I think right ear? I fucking never know. I think it's a left ear. His left ear is orange. He has like orange little stripes here and he has big blue eyes. So yeah, I'm gonna go look for my fucking cat. Um. <laughs> God, don't give me a break. Um. Yeah, and I'm going to check shelters. I'm going to go to shelters. And I'm going to make the flyers first. 
post them up or no i'm gonna go to my old apartment go to roy's apartment where i found her at and then make those rounds then go make the flyers post them around and then go to the shelters and leave the flyers there too so if they find them they see them but i will keep y'all updated thank you so much um also my one last note before i go it is very nice to get like nice messages sent to me via email but please try to keep them to a minimum and not do that um even though i appreciate them a lot it's kind of hard to find i like had some promising like emails or some ones I had to keep up with uh, about Azul and I couldn't tell what what was what because I kept getting emails all night and I had to like scraggle through and like yeah and yeah I'm gonna check Craigslist I have a someone made me a paw boost by the way thank you so much for the person who made me a paw boost I made that I posted it on my Facebook or Ryan posted it on her Facebook I'm gonna link it on um, my IG story um my god y'all are so annoying this lipstick is called glowing by buxom it's a pretty color right yeah azul loved it she would lick it off my lips she wouldn't i wouldn't let azul lick my lips oh. but yeah it would be fucking amazing if i went home right now and azul was just home and like chilling like hey what's up i'm just back I would love it if I went home and Azul was like, hey, were you looking for me? I saw an IG post. Some fucking white bitch was looking for me. And then I remembered you. And that would be amazing. Um, but yeah, I have to go. Gonna go home. Hopefully find Azul. And I will never complain again once I find her. But yeah. Uh, thank you all so much for everything. Goodbye. I will keep y'all updated though, so don't worry.